everybody. Welcome to Emma and Auntie's adventure. Here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. He's in our minds, I cannot wait. One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. Hi, Emma. Hi, Auntie. Emma, hey, what's going on? You don't sound like your peppy self. Yeah, Auntie, I, I just don't feel very well. I feel really cold and, and sleepy. Oh no, Emma, that's not good. Oh my goodness. Here, let me touch your head. Let me see here. Oh goodness, yeah, you are definitely burning up. Oh no, Auntie, I don't get how I could be so burning up because I feel so, so cold. Yeah, Emma, I think you have a fever. What else are you feeling? Well, Auntie, I feel cold and, and my body hurts all over, like a big bruise all over my body. Oh no, Emma. Okay, I think I should examine you and let's see what's going on. Okay, Auntie, yeah. I think that sounds like a good idea. All right, Emma, first I'm going to listen with my stethoscope, okay? So let's see here. Put this on my ears. Okay, and let's listen to your lungs. Breathe in and out, good, and in and out, good. Okay, now let's gonna listen to your heart. Okay, everything sounds good there. Perfect. All right. Okay, now it's time to listen with the otoscope. So let's get that down here. Okay, let's take a look here. All right, let's look in your ears first. Okay, good. That side, good. And in your nose, <laughs> that tickled Andy, good. Okay, say ah, uh, ah, uh. perfect. Okay, everything looks good there. And now I'm gonna feel your neck and let's see if we can feel any little bumps called lymph nodes. <laughs> that tickles again. All right, that's a good sign. All right, Miss Emma, you did a great job with the exam. Okay, Auntie, so what's going on? What do you think I have? Well, Emma, I think you have the flu. The flu? Oh no, Auntie, what should I do? Well, Emma, to understand how to treat the flu, first we have to understand what is the flu. First of all, when we are sick, there are usually three main categories of bugs that can make us sick. Do you remember what those bugs are called, Emma? Mm, yes, I think I do. They are called fungus, bacteria, and viruses. Great job, Emma. Thanks, Auntie. Okay, so just like when you were sick with a cold, the flu is caused by a bug called a virus, but a different virus than the cold. It's caused by influenza virus. Can you say influenza, Emma? Yes, influenza, great. Auntie, how in the world did I get influenza or the flu? How did that happen? Well, Emma, unfortunately, viruses are all around us and are so teeny tiny, it's hard to know when we have been infected. All it takes is to touch something that the virus was on, and then we put our hand in our mouth to bite our nails, for example, or pick our noses, and then boom, the virus has entered our body. You see, Emma, when someone has a virus and they sneeze or cough or maybe even touch their nose, they are infectious. And then when they sneeze or cough or touch something, out sprays thousands and thousands of viruses all over whatever they sneeze on or cough on or touch. And then if we come into contact with those viruses soon after somebody touches something or sneezes and coughs on something, well then we get sick. Oh no, auntie. Yes, 
So that's why it's so important that we wash our hands and avoid putting our hands in our mouth or our nose, especially when we're around people who are sick. Good to know, Auntie. Okay, so back to influenza. As soon as the virus enters our body, it starts to multiply over and over and over again, creating enough viruses that we start to feel sick. So with the flu, we usually get fevers and body aches as the main symptoms, as well as headaches, cough, nasal congestion, and usually we just feel really tired. Yes, Auntie, that's exactly how I feel. So, Auntie, what do we do? How do I get rid of this flu virus? Well, Emma, since influenza is a virus, we do not need antibiotics, as antibiotics only help bacteria infections. So, for most viruses, we sit back, rest, and let our good old immune system fight everything off for us. So, we need to eat healthy, drink lots of water, and rest, rest, rest to get our immune system nice and strong. Cut it, Auntie! So, most of the treatment for the flu is to relax and let our immune system do its job, but we can treat the symptoms. For high fevers and body aches, we can use medicines like Tylenol or Ibuprofen. But it's important to know that not all fevers require Tylenol or Ibuprofen. In fact, fevers are actually a good thing and something that tells our immune system that our body is working hard to fight off an infection. Fevers are our body's way of telling us, hey Emma, I'm fighting something, sit back and relax. If a fever is really high, like maybe 102 or higher, or we're just feeling really bad with our fever, then taking a Tylenol or Ibuprofen is just fine. But lower fevers, we actually can wait to treat them to give our body the best chance to fight off this infection. Got it, Auntie. We can also take medicines like cough medicines or little throat lozenges to help with uh, irritation in our throat or nasal sprays, anything like that if we're feeling uncomfortable from the flu. But these are all not necessary, only if we don't feel good. All right, Auntie, makes sense. Now there actually is a medication that can help get rid of the flu faster. It's a medication called Tamiflu, which is a prescription by your doctor. And it's an antiviral medication, meaning it will help target and get rid of the flu virus influenza. If you have a mild flu, this medication is actually not needed. But if you're feeling really sick or your doctor can get you the medication quickly, like within the first two days of being sick, then you can take this medication to kill that pesky flu virus faster. Great, Auntie, that's good to know. Now, another thing we can do to help stop the flu, even from coming at all, is get the flu shot. Shot? Where? Where, Auntie? I don't have a shot right now, Emma. But if we get the flu shot every year, it gives our body a stronger chance of fighting this year's flu virus. It can make it so we don't even get the flu at all, or if we do get the flu, the symptoms are not so bad. And the shot now even comes in a nasal spray, so no needle is even needed. Wow, Auntie, no needle? Sign me up. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to sing a fun song about how to stop the flu virus. What do you think, Emma? Yes, let's do it, Auntie. All right, everybody. Are you ready to sing a song about stopping the flu virus? Let's show this flu what our bodies are made of. Okay, here we go. It's the flu, oh, oh, not the flu, oh, oh. It's the flu, oh, 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 oh. To do oh oh for the flu oh oh fight the flu oh oh immune cells go oh oh let's rest our head healthy foods instead wash our hands to stop the spread as our immune cells fight influenza can't hide let's fight this virus out of sight with my temperature rise achy body and eyes the flu virus is here. 
congestion to the nose, yucky mucus on the flow. The flu virus is here, but I have no fear. With my temperature rise, achy body and eyes, the flu virus is here, but I have no fear. Cough congestion to the nose, yucky mucus on the flow. The flu virus is here, but I have no fear, cause it's the flu, oh oh, not the flu. I better get some rest so my immune system cells can get rid of this flu virus. That sounds good, Emma. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Hey, everyone. If you like all these types of videos and you want to see more of Auntie and I, please subscribe and hit that notification button so that way you can see more videos just like this. Yeah, we can't wait to show more about the human body and help you learn. Click that like button, please.